That is pretty comfy. It's alright. It does smell a bit weird though. Yeah, it needs to... Uh... It smells like garden centres. It does actually. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, um, Rory got a new floor. It's actually really nice. It's nice and warm, holds warm thing. Oh, let me get up. Um, so the objective now for next today, tomorrow, is get the engine out. <laughs> so, uh, massive shout out to Matt Lewis Motorsport. They've sort of lent Rory a... Um, a big ass crane. A big ass crane, oh God. And you're in focus. So, big shout out to Matt Lewis for that. So now we can use that to get that out. My last video, I'm pretty sure, I was, or second to last video, I was pretty sure I'm supposed to give away a Because Race Car box. Work, life, and all that other shit has got like way out of hand. Um, so, I'm going to do it in today's video. Yay! So, stay tuned for that. Me and Rory will announce it. Free things! Free things for everybody! Yay! Free stuff! So, um, first off, we're going to start making moves on the engine. I don't know how far we're going to get, but we'll hopefully get some up tonight. Coming up. It's like. One, two, three, four, six bolts. Six bolts in this out. Which is probably easy, easy peasy. So yeah, engine's out today. Oh, massive, massive, massive update. The rover died. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Why did you have to do that? Come on. <laughs> she died a noble death. What happened, Rory? Snapped a cam belt. <laughs> He's like driving down south and then in the middle lane, uh, it just cuts out on him. No noises or anything, was it? No, it was I was expecting like pistons and rods to go flying, but it didn't even happen. So, I was really disappointed. The rover died, so because the rover died now, we've got to introduce the new daily for Rory. It's a <sighs> oh, oh dear. Got it. Do you know it's bad when um, I was, my dad was asking me. My dad was asking me like, "Oh, what did you what what Rory what car did Rory say he'd got?" So oh, he's got like an Astra Estate, and he goes, "Oh, that's a pretty sensible car, that is." <laughs> that's two people that said that now. <laughs> that's my dad. <laughs> when your dad approves, mate, I can't. Yeah, when your dad approves of like your daily, then uh, it's going downhill very fast, isn't yeah, it, Rory? I feel like, I'm feeling like an old man. You are an old man. I am. I'm just going to go sulk in the corner now. <laughs> go sulk in your Astra. Sulk in the boot that I can lie down in. <laughs> He's even got a tow bar. Mm, mm, mm. So Rory, tell the viewers what you're trying to accomplish here. So what I'm doing is I'm jacking the car up so I can get to A, the D-cat to downpipe bolts and the torque mount bolts and then once I've got those undone I can take the wheels off, take the drive shafts out, and hey presto, we should have lift off from. The Hi, I'm Rory. I take I forever to. No <laughs> <laughs> that was so long-winded. <laughs> Basically, Rory's jacking the car up so he can take the parts off the car, so then he can take the engine out. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Layman. Layman. <laughs> Hi, my name's Layman. Is, is your name Layman? Layman Turns? <laughs> Hi, my name's Rory. I'm really complicated. I really have no idea what I'm doing as well. <laughs> not gonna lie. Let's have a gander. So, oh my god. Let me focus on that. So that was the issue. So this is the whole reason the car's off the road, essentially, isn't it? Just that there, from where it's... Because I put the car too low, it's scraped. And put a hole straight through that hose there. That's bad. Uh, Hence why the rest of the car is... That is absolutely <laughs> smothered. Who needs underseal, mate? That's what oil's for, isn't it? Right, literally. Oh, look at that nice turbo you got Ooh, there. Oh, look at that. That's quite a big turbo. That's rather oily. I don't like the fact we're taking weight off the front end. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea when you're under there. I'll be right, mate, don't worry. There's a lot of weight. There is a lot of weight at the back now. I think it's just because of where I put it on the sides. Be all right, don't worry, man. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, these wheels don't weigh anything anyway. Eight kg pieces. That's why I take this one and you I'll, die. I'll, I'll move out for you. You die a horrible and painful death. I've been squished by a fire cylinder. Oh yeah, the bad come out. Like yeah, I've got this toolkit, right? 160 quid. It's got a lifetime warranty. 
It's a black edition, so all the tools are black, so they don't get dirty. You've got loads of ratchet and spanners. Loads of different socket. Do you mind? Sorry. Loads of... <laughs> hey! <laughs> loads of different like, sockets, you've got all the different ratchets, everything. And some Allen keys in there. What was it, 160 quid? Well, they had them, because it's the sale at the minute, they had them for 185, and then when it went to the checkout, it was like, came up as 160, and it was like, with the axle stands as well, it was 185, so I was like, I wasn't going to grumble and tell them and say, yeah, well, I thought they spent 185. And Can't I thought play. I was getting the chrome one, and then I've been wanting these, like, this limited edition set for ages, because they do them like once a year, do them like once a year, and then all of a sudden, Winner, winner. There it is. It looks so much smarter as well. It matches the black gloves. It does. <laughs> right, noise time. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get the engine out tonight. But we've got all tomorrow as well, so we're not going to rush it. Uh, no, I mean, if we do it tonight, then we can go to that fort meet tomorrow. I'm at work. Oh, shame. Yay. What do you reckon on that? Operation shaft. <laughs> Operation shafted. <laughs> oh, work your magic, sir. So it's like the retaining clip thing you're taking out, the thing that holds it in place. Yeah, I'm going to need the Allen key. So there's a centre bearing. This is what this is on. That's a what? Centre bearing. Yeah. In, just here for the long drive shaft. For the long drive shaft? Oh, and right. too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big, Jack. That's what she said. The thing is I moved all the aircon pipes. Oh, sorry, power steering pipes, to be correct. Hi, so I'm Rory. I have no idea what I'm like talking about. Like I said before, about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Got it. Muscles. I envy any car page on YouTube that has their own... Lift. Lift ramp? Pretty much any YouTuber has a lift now. Because... They all earn so much money. More, so much more money than we do. They can do things like this without having to lie on the back and get, actually get some strength in it. Whereas everything's so much harder when you go like use axle stands. Although I did build the car on axle stands. Didn't I? Very true. We did actually. We, we did. We built it on axle stands. That was a fun day for that turbo. With a turbo, I was here like this, holding the turbo up, and Jack uh, was on the top, top, holding down, leaning on my rocket cover. <laughs> that was a fun day. You need to do that to the my Fiesta next. <laughs> All right, so that is. That's the gearbox out, not the gearbox out. That's the drive shafts out, we haven't got that far yet. Um, so yeah, both the drive shafts are out. Not that you'll be able to see what I'm pointing at, but oh, you can see the turbine for the turbine. Turbo? Yeah. There we go, right, so the drive shafts are now out. You can see it goes like straight through to the other side. Um, you can also see uh, the turbo up there as well. What are you doing, Rawls? I'm going to get rid of the oil from the G-box because I no longer need it, and the next person can put fresh oil in then. What LSD is it, Rory? It's a Quaif ATB LSD, which Matt Lewis Motorsport fitted. So if you want this diff, uh, comment below, and we'll, or message Rory on Instagram. 750 pounds. For the gearbox, the whole gearbox. gearbox. oil, that is golden. You get the light closer? That's golden. Well looked after, yeah. look at that. Always had a gearbox oil change every time I broke a drive shaft, so that was <laughs> five times. <laughs> Nice little quaif in there. You can tell yeah. it's the quaif as well, or any limited slip diff, you can see straight through on a limited slip. I've got nothing to bang. Oh, there we go. Uh, open diffs don't have uh, the hole through the centre for standard differentials, so that is a quaif. I have the receipt as well from that way It's a pretty decent image to be fair. Yeah, it's good one. Absolutely delicious. Lovely. Alright, so that's that. Now, uh, we've got to undo all the different like mounts. We've got to undo all the different mounts, like the gearbox mount, other mounts. These two here. These two. Just do here. this one, that one, that one, that one. One in the centre of the gearbox mount, which is this here. That thing. And then one at the back, which is torque mount. Right at the back. And this bitch is ready to come. So we're going to just yank it up and then pull it out, hopefully, fingers right. crossed. And then it's going on a crate somewhere, that crate. That crate there. Going on that. And then we're all sorted. So the gearbox is pretty much out. I keep saying gearbox instead of engine. Like engine the is nearly out. The whole, the whole running gear slash. Everything. Engine and running gear is all coming out in one, so. Now we're just prepping, aren't we? Prep ready to get the uh... engine out, because obviously you want to, um, if you're taking an engine out, you want to make sure you've got it all wrapped up ready, so you've got all the weight off when you undo the bolt, so the engine doesn't just drop through. So that would be a disaster. Would, uh, would not be a good idea right now. <laughs> no. 
So we're gonna attach all these um, ratchet straps around the engine onto the different points. We're ready. It'll be out, won't it? Yeah. Winner, winner. <laughs> right. So quick update. Engine is pretty much. If anybody comments about how crap the straps are, I will slit your throat. So I don't give a sh sugar. <laughs> so yeah, Rory, don't give no sugars. I don't give any. So <laughs> I ain't no daddy. <laughs> we've uh, we've somewhat like strapped it up, and then we were just gonna start <laughs> undo <laughs> strapped up. We're gonna start undoing bolts now, undoing mounts, and then hopefully jack the engine out of it. Fingers crossed. Ready, dude. Start cranking. Uh, yeah. Should we really wait a second till I'm out? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. We have movement. If anyone's a um, asking Alexandria fan, uh, let me know in the, in the, in the comments. I love it when you strap things up, Rory. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> really. <laughs> it gets me going. It'd be nice to get all the engine out and give it a good clean down and paint up. Wait till you see the back of the engine, break. <laughs> I think things are going to be melted. Nothing left. <laughs> but that tastes like shit. <laughs> mm, lemony. Lemony? Mm. <laughs> a bit cleaner. Right, Jack, do me the honours. Let's uh, hope this doesn't break. Fingers crossed. You can film it if you want. Yeah, let me. Uh, Let's film it. Let's film it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's lifting the chassis, mate. <laughs> I'm just going to stop recording, right? <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> going to have to go down slightly, I think, mate. Very slightly. Alright. Yeah. Okay, wait there, wait there. It's moving though, so that's, <laughs> it's a good sign. I think we've, 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 we've done a fuck up again. Right. We're gonna have to pull it out there, I think. I'll follow the right please don't drop on my name. <laughs> it looks like you have to go a little bit lower because you're gonna be able to pull it forward out. Gentlemen, I give you my engine. Oh, that took 
Not as much time as I as thought it was going see, to. That's why there was hardly any room around the back. Oh yeah. She's still spinning. She's she still does. spinning. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's so good to only have it out. It's been so long. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh. What brand is that? That's a teal tile. Whatever you want to call tile. it. Stone wastegate. So there you go, all this like talking we've done of like Rory's turbo setup. Now you can actually minus this because that's not forward. a turbo setup. You've got the auto specialist manifold. Yep, wrapped up really crappily. Tile looks in a wastegate. Three zip tie. Woo! Got precision three something something no, six. Six something. two six two six six. <laughs> three two six six. Six two six six, god damn it. <laughs> something or other. It's massive. It's so good to finally have it out, man. Yeah, man. All done. Oh, look at it. Look at all this room for activities. Oh. So coming out, as you can tell, the oil went everywhere. This is oh, literally Jesus. everywhere. Look at that. Yeah, some squirrels have been down here, I think. See, my, see how my bushes are doing? My Powerflex bush. Yep, like <laughs> you. <laughs> no, we'll get the struts back in really quickly. That's all I've got to do, struts back in, wheels on, done. Okay, sick. <laughs> right guys, so that's the end of the video. Um, before we close out, um, obviously we've got the engine out now. That's all sorted, fucking, but there, that's the engine out. Um, so we've moved the car back, put the, the wheels back on, and moved it back into the garage, and this is where the engine's gonna live, for now anyway. Um, but before we end the video, I've got to announce the winner for the Cuz Race Car Box uh, giveaway. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ask Siri for like a random number between one and 24. And that's going to be my winner. So if I go into the comments now, there's 24 entries. There's more comments than that, but there's only 24 comments that said R34. So um, get the comments up and ready. So I'm going to put it onto the phone now. What is a random number between 1 and 24? It's 18. There you go. So number 18 is a winner. So what I'm going to do now is go on to the comments. So make sure you can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So Matty Burn. You are the winner. You are the winner, sir. So uh, I'm going to comment now, reply to this. Oh my god, this camera does my nut in. So I'm going to reply to you now. Um, and yeah, message me on Instagram at Cars and Co Official, and uh, I'll get you a prize sent out to you. Congratulations. Oh, yes. Right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to Matty Byrne for winning the Because Race Car Box. Um, I expect to hear you from, from you soon. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, so that's some little recap engines out now. So we've got not a lot left, left to do now. Yeah, what have we got left to do? Pipes and things and then welding things. So yeah, that's pretty much it now. Um, that's like the hardest part done, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, hardest part, man. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more. It means a lot. So yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.